Hello, everyone. I'm Eric from Etiquette, back for another live stream. <laughs> Welcome. It's so good to see all of you. Uh, a bit of a wild dash right before I started. Uh, my camera didn't want to work. My audio didn't work. I had to I had to uninstall something and um, restart. So, But here I am, and I hope everyone can see me. Uh, how are you doing? My name is Eric. Uh, I'm an English teacher, and on this live stream, we chat to English teachers, we share ideas, um, share stories. So if you've got any questions or you just want to say hi, put it in the comments and I'll try and get to it. And we've got BM here, but BM, hi, Eric, what's the topic today? Am I happy or nervous? I'm always happy, but BM, so many messages. Watch out. We need to give everyone a chance. So I want you to limit how many um, messages you send because so many people have questions, so I can only answer so many, but I do appreciate it. So, okay, so how am I feeling? I'm feeling really well, actually a little bit nervous. Tomorrow is my first day of of um, school. Yeah, classes are starting tomorrow, so, uh, you know, excited and, uh, and a little bit nervous for the new semester. Hmm. Sorry, I was... Oh, let me put my socks over here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you guys could have seen. Yeah, uh, what happened today? Today was just filled with um, uh, a bit of procrastination. I was trying to do some work, uh, but now here I am back at home trying to do the live stream. Hi, Beer. Uh, do you go back to school? Yes, tomorrow. Uh, where are the demos? Well, that's a good question, actually. Um, I've been working on a series of how to teach for tests. So I've been working on the different skills for that. Um, and then there's a company that contacted me and asked me if I can make a video um, about using their software. And that's actually the software I've been using that uses the camera. And so I'm planning that today I was working on some tips on how to create a demo, uh, a demo video for um, either for getting a job or, yeah, just uh, how you're going to do your classes. Uh, let's see. Uh, my dad is here. Uh, hello, everyone. We are back from a road trip uh, the past week. So nice to see the regulars. Yeah, I haven't seen my parents. I've seen some nice photos. They've been busy. Usually we're quite in contact and we can talk about things, but it's it's good that they're here. What's the name of the dog? What dog? Um, no, I, I don't have a dog, but I would love to have one. Uh, Maya, uh, thank you so much. Hi, Abid. Uh, Bibi got a puppy. Ah, okay. So actually, yeah, that's a that's a an interesting story um, with the dogs. Um, right, I don't think it's fourteen years, Dad. I think it's less than that because what happened was right before I came to Korea, I um, got a puppy that I took to my parents, and they took care of it. And the puppy's been there all this time. So, but I don't think it's fourteen years. Uh, is nicer, is long hair, uh, yeah, uh, well, it's because I, I don't wax it, actually, so today, I just look, I, I'm just lounging around, but as soon as I have to go to work tomorrow, I'm going to dress up nice, I'm going to style my hair, but uh, yeah, this is just the Sunday night haircut, uh, or hairstyle, Herbie, good morning, uh, Ai, uh, Al, hi, hello, teacher, uh, I want a job. Uh, Faisal, I pray and I hope that you get a good job soon. Mingles, keep up the good work. Thank you so much. Uh, Appa Bakar, hello. And by the way, guys, you can say where you're from. So we, um, uh, if you want to share that, it's so nice to meet teachers from all over the, the world. Uh, are you angry at me? <laughs> you don't like the questions? No, uh, of course, I'm not angry. I'm just worried, you know, many people have questions. And if we send too many questions, if we kind of spam too much, it's kind of difficult for everyone to have a chance. And it's uh, so many questions for me to answer, right? Uh, so, uh, Sine, hi from Turkey. How are you doing, Sine? Uh, Faisal from Algeria. Need visa sponsorship for traveling or for working? Jackie, so much talking in the classroom the first week of first graders help hmm jackie that's interesting yeah um hmm so uh, it's their first year with you they're very chatty they're trying to get into into classes that sounds interesting hmm now how do you usually deal with them you set out your ground rules um you know that first day the first week usually they're quite shy so it's uh 
I don't think if I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing that they're so chatty the first week, but it's definitely important that um, you you um, teach, train them how to not train. You, yeah, you 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 um, you help them. Um, uh, you teach them how to behave in class and what you expect of them. So you've got to have those rules, and you can also give them examples of what not to do. It's um, it's uh, I think you know with young learners what I've seen, or I think I saw this on Doctor Phil. This is just an idea, by the way. Um, is maybe a bit of role playing. And so uh, he said, Doctor Phil said, okay, this this had to do with potty training. So how they. <laughs> This is this isn't off subject. It's just something I saw on Doctor Phil. So the way Doctor Phil trained his kids, how, or potty trained them, is he would he would take their their favorite toy, you know, Barbie or toy or doll or or um, you know a teddy bear, and he would say uh, he would actually act with the doll what to do, and then they would have this big party to celebrate it. So it's positive reinforcement uh, for the child to do the same thing, and so. Uh, so when the child, uh, so they do it first with the, the toy and then afterwards, um, when the child does it, they, they praise it and they also have like a mini party. And I think, um, not that we should potty train our students, hopefully they're okay by then, but you'll have accidents, of course. But I, I think we should try and use positive reinforcement as soon as possible and also role play what we expect from our students. So, um, you know, you can, uh, you're going to read the rules to them. You're going to write it on the board. I think three to five rules maximum, especially with young learners. And then you're also going to read, uh, teach them the procedures. And then, you know, during the week, I want you to practice some of the ways that you can get them to be quiet. Now, um, there are lots of different attention getters. You know, I, I think the most popular is, um, especially with young learners, maybe get something like a bell or some distinct noise that can that can help them. Uh, you can also, you know, with all the students I, I teach, you know, just raise your hand or, um, you know, they've got some of those call and responses, one, two, three eyes on me, and then the student, and then the students have to look up. Um, I, I know a lot of rules. Uh, schools also do the five. Um, what, what is it? The five point rule where it's like, okay, pencils down, eyes up, um, or hands on the table. Uh, feet still, uh, pay attention. Something like that. I, I don't remember exactly. I, my most popular video is noisy class, and it's uh, got to do with uh, classroom procedures. But um, I'm actually thinking of updating that video with attention getters. I think that's uh, that's, and uh, so I'll update that video soon. I hope that helps, Jackie. Good luck. I know it's tough with the younger learners. Paul, hi. Good morning from Canada. Uh, Apukabad, how are you? I'm really well. Uh, I'm doing really well, but uh, yeah, lots of things going on. And um, these days, I'm just, you know, I'm, 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 I'm nervous about my classes. Of course, uh, I think it's going to go well. Uh, I might even record some videos, and I'm, I'm really thinking about perhaps recording more classes, um, uh, more uh, videos of me in class while I'm teaching because. Um, Recently, or on Thursday, I released a video of me just doing some activities, not at my university, but just uh, at, at another language school, working with some students and getting some content. And I feel like a lot of teachers appreciate seeing another teacher in the classroom and sharing practical, um, you know, things that they can see. Instead of me here just explaining everything, uh, they want to see how it's going, uh, how it's happening. So one of my goals for in the future is I want to have more um, uh, videos of me in class teaching or someone else too. Mela, don't be nervous. I will try not to. Inkard, hi, welcome back home. Hi, Inkard. It's good to be back home and good to see you too. You're great. Thank you so much. Amaya, keep up the good work from, uh, I, I'm from Pretty Tick work hard. Okay. Um, Maribel, hello. Um, Thuyet, where are you now? I am in South Korea. I'm at my home. Although, um, so I live in a small like suburb next to a big city and um, it's it's a university town. And so the students are back. It's so busy. Yeah. Um, it's it's nice to be around people. MD, hello, sir. Medina, hello, everyone. Tas um, from Uzbekistan. Leti, hello from Spain. What will you do for your first class? Well, uh, I'm going to do the same thing I always do. No, um, Leti, I'm going to mix it up. Um, I actually, 
uh, I'm, I'm going to go through, um, you know, go through what, what they can expect this semester and what we will do. I'll go through the syllabus and uh, our schedule. I'll go through the grading so that they know exactly what they're being graded on. Uh, and then we always do some kind of um, some kind of icebreakers for the students to get used to it. Uh, and um, But for me, the priority right now is in the past, I did a lot of pair work. And that's good. But I think now this is the first class that all the students are back. And I think they're so eager just to, to meet the other students. So instead of my normal pair exercise, I'm actually going to do a survey. So I'm uh, the students take out a paper. I'm going to give each one of them a paper. Uh, I'm going to ask some questions that you can ask people. You know, what's your favorite? Where did you go? Um, you know, ice-breaking type of questions. I'm going to write them on the board. So um, in my classes, there will be 20 students. I'll ask my students to, okay, we write down these examples. I'm going to give you two minutes. Quickly write down 10 questions. And then what we're going to do is like a survey. We'll have the question, name, answer. And then they've got to mingle and interview 10 other students, um, ask them their names, say hello, ask them a, a question and then write it down. And I think this is a good way for the students to start mingling and getting to know each other. And then um, and then we'll do so take some feedback. I'm going to say, okay, well, tell me something about someone new in class, say their name and tell me something interesting about them. Uh, and then after that, I'll do my usual where the students interview a partner and they, they introduce their partner to class. So I can also do some, I can check the students level and I can make some notes about them. I think, you know, um, it's, it's kind of difficult. I don't, I, I, I don't have a seating chart for my classes. Um, I don't think it's, it's, it's a bit different in university, but if you're at school, I think a, a seating chart is very useful. So for me, I have to make notes about my students so that I remember them better because uh, it is kind of difficult remembering Korean students' names. Uh, it's, it's like, um, you know, you're used to certain names and you can remember it. But when you go to a different country and now you've got to remember, you know, common names for them, it's, it's, a, bit, it's a bit more difficult. Uh, Anin, uh, hi, I'm a very new English teacher in an international school. Congratulations. How to make an organized lesson plan. Okay, Hanin, um, I've had some questions about it. Now, in the past, I just did a basic, it's ba a basic video about it. Um, it's just, um, you know, you, you, you find out what your teaching goals are. You, you plan the activities, you plan the assessment, you, you do some re, um, uh, you know, you're going to review it. Let me quickly look up lesson plan. So this is actually from a live stream like this that I took and I just, um, I edited it to be a bit shorter. So I'm going to share this with you. Um, it's not perfect, but it should give you some idea of what to expect with the lesson plan. So I'm going to put it in there. What happened to your finger? Um, uh, um, I got into, uh, I trained some boxing and then I hurt my finger. Uh, good news is it's been so tough working with this and I can't go to the gym. I really want to go to the gym. But... Um, I think this week the stitches are coming out and then next week they're going to remove the pins and then I'm done. Anita, hello. Good to have you here on live English teaching student from uh, Netherlands. Anita, I think that's the, the NL Netherlands. Am I wrong? Um, by the way, yeah, I've, I've had an interesting question where I think a lot of my viewers are English learners or um, and so someone asked me last week, they said, Eric, why is the name of your channel Etiquette English Teachers and not Etiquette Teachers of English? And that's a good question. Um, yeah, well, obviously, I know what I want to do with the channel, but, ha but perhaps in the future, uh, I'll make a secondary channel where I just post content that might be useful for English learners. I'm thinking about it because a lot of the things that I create, obviously, I want to help teachers, but some of it, you know, it's 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 more geared towards English learners, and then I can invite them there. So maybe in the future you can check out for that. I'll do that too. Carmen, how hello, how are you doing? Greetings from Peru. Now, while I'm thinking about it, let me quickly find something because I told you about this. If I see Bonnie Esther, I'm going to play it. Let me quickly find it. Um, a while ago, a couple of weeks ago, Bonnie Esther, uh, she did just did. 
remove. Uh, I'm going to wait uh, wait for later. So Bonnie Esther did a did a uh, an impersonation of uh, of me, and um, so uh, I'm, I I want to share that. She's so good. Let me just pause this. <laughs> when she's on, I'll play it. Uh, uh, Carmen, I hope you're doing well. Muhammad from Pakistan. Um, how to speak fast. Um, first of all, um, I heard there, there are some massive floods in Pakistan. So uh, my prayers go out to the Pakistani people. Um, you know, I, I hope that you're safe and your family is good too. I, I just thought. Now, how do you go about speaking faster? So um, I think what it's going to come down to is you're going to want to learn some common phrases, some especially phrasal verbs. You're going to want to start um, copying um, expressions that other in native English speakers use that you can model yourself after. And then I want you to become comfortable using these expressions more naturally and quicker. Um, just watch out, you know, just being able to speak fast doesn't necessarily mean that you sound better because I've had some students that are very advanced, but um, they think that uh, being speaking fast makes you it makes it easier to communicate or um, you know makes you look better which it does not you want to be able to to speak clearly and effectively but the speed doesn't matter but i think you want you may be talking about fluency how can you be more fluent right and that's why i want you to practice a lot of these structures these grammar structures that you use a lot. If you're talking about the past, I want you to practice that more. If you're talking about the future, if you're talking about things you want to do. So find these examples and start copying them. And you can also use a placeholder strategy where you've got the same structure of a sentence, but you, you change some part of it. And then you practice saying that over and over again, and you become more comfortable. I, I hope that helps. That's just a, a quick idea of that. Uh, Aisa, hi, how are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Um, uh, who know? Hi, uh, how far? Oh, I'm 20 minutes behind. Guys, have I been talking so much? I'm so sorry. Bella Chu from Ethiopia. Uh, thank you for your kind words. Uh, Zubair, Eric, how are you? I'm really well. Oh, you've got... No, BM, don't say that. I, I know what you're doing. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, because uh, Musa from Mozambique. Hi, I like it so much. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, Hanin. Uh, oh, I saw already. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. Zubair, uh, I need some help. I'm an English uh, linguistics teacher, so you will help me. I'll try. Kindly answer my how to speak fast. I did, Mohamed. Uh, Christoph, hi from Poland. I just met a Polish lady last night. Uh, uh, yeah, last yesterday. So was it yesterday? Yes, it was yesterday. Yesterday, I went to watch sports in another town and I met, made some new friends and then uh, also met um, a Polish student. Very nice. Uh, and actually, um, one of my friends here at university went to visit Poland. They went to Krakow and Warsaw. Uh, it looks so good. I'm um, very envious. Gande, uh, I'm an English teacher at a senior high with 40 students in the classroom. Do you have a... Yes, actually, I've got great news for you. Uh, was it big classes? I actually made a video. I get teaching big classes. Yeah, this is a video I made because uh, a lot of people ask me, how do you teach big classes? And I made this video and I think it gives some strategies. So hopefully it helps. You can just check it out in the comments. Yeah, that's a, that's a, I think that's a very useful video going over that. Oh, I think um, I, I think BM's right. My hair doesn't look great today, but tomorrow for my classes, I'll put in wax. Uh, I'll be very handsome. I'll try anyway. <laughs> it has been two weeks. Um, it is starting to feel better. I really want to get it loose. Uh, I actually, every two days, I go and get it rewrapped. Um, yeah, it's getting better. <laughs> you don't want to see it though. It's still got stitches in it and it's got some pins, but yeah, hopefully this week we take out the stitches. Um, it's so sad though, too, because, uh, I couldn't swim and, and, and it's difficult to shower. I've got to wear gloves. Uh, I wear a glove when I shower. Um, and, uh, uh summer's ending today was actually quite a cool day. And, you know, it, 
it's so sad. I love summer. And then, you know, once summer ends, you know, and, and the seasons change, I, I know most people enjoy it because it's cooler and it's nicer, but I just love summer. So I couldn't go swimming. That's why I'm sad. Ahmed, thank you. Uh, uh, Valencia, I am studying English. I want to improve my English. It's very nice. Good, Valencia. You're doing the right thing. Sorry if I'm speaking very fast, but uh, that's just what I do when I live stream. Weathering. I started to teach young learners these days and feel so exhausted by the energy. Um, I think I'm going to have to uh, have TKT for young learners soon. What's TKT? TKT. I'm trying to say it's TikTok. No, not TKTX. What are you doing, Google? Oh, teacher knowledge test. Okay, very interesting. I think I heard about this before. It's a Cambridge test, right? Mm, wow, very interesting. For new and experienced teachers. Uh, okay, wow. Very interesting. Um, listen, um, uh, Withering, I'm very curious about this. So um, let me know how it goes because... Um, I would love to to take more courses and 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 you know do more things like this. So let me know how it goes because I'd love to learn more too. You know we should all try and learn more. Um, so I'll try. Leticia, hi from Mexico. Hola, uh, um, Mayard, very impressive. Thank you so much. I will. Um, John Dosa, hi from Suwan. John Dosa, James, how are you doing? Lovely to see you. Uh, do you prefer summer over or, or fall over summer? Oh my God, same with the ring. Okay. Oh, Hinin, you're also going to do it. Um, Whale Yonga TV. Hi. Good to see you. It's a uh, whale. Uh, where ill? I think I said that right, maybe. Um, Kabli. Hi from Sudan. Jasmini. Hello. Uh, Zubair. Really? Uh, everyone from Algeria. Very cool. I think Algeria is actually in my top 10. So recently I took a look at my statistics, especially on YouTube. And I think um, uh, Algeria might be 10 or 11. Uh, the, the, um, the amount of subscribers I have um, uh, from across the world, I think. So it's first India, then it's, uh, then it's America. Uh, is it then? Is it then Pakistan? Wait, no. Uh, and then number no number four or five is also Myanmar, which I'm uh, I'm very grateful for. No, wait, Myanmar is number six. I'll have to look it up. Uh, can for teaching demos. Well, uh, yeah, I think that's just going to be one um, demo. I'm going to give tips, and I'm also going to show how to use that software. But now I need to be cautious about the software. It's really nice. Um, but um, it looks like it interferes with my with my camera and my audio. I've seen it happen before, so I just need to figure that out. Ahmad, hi. Aisa, like Stargate. Yeah, I like Stargate, uh, the, the series and the movie from long ago. Uh, Avery, hi. Uh, hi from India, Nasir, interested. Uh, Uzbekistan, uh, Algeria. I'm just quickly going through. Let's see. Uh, Muhammad, can I study there? Sure. And uh, 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 Rania, hi. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. It's a bit difficult um, uh, because they only take teachers from um, some of the English speaking countries. So uh, I know it's it's very difficult for non-native teachers to to come to Asia to come and teach. But I'm sure there are other countries and other opportunities too. Um, who do you look up to as a teacher? Wow. Suad coming out with the big questions. Huh. <sighs> I think, you, you know, the thing is, there are so many amazing teachers at schools. And with the job I have, I, I just teach and, and it's very simple. It's just English communication. So I really look up to all these teachers that really teach, um, you know, in schools, put in the hard, hard work. Also, even at these language schools, they work many hours with young learners, uh, many different types of learners. So there are many teachers that I look up to. Is there a singular teacher that I admire more than anyone else? Not that I can think of right now, but let me think about it, Su Suad. It's a very good question, but, you know, it's a similar question I had when I was younger. Uh, I remember, uh, you know, one of the common questions teachers ask, ask you is like, well, is there a celebrity or is there someone you look up to? And I was like, I remember back then I was like, instead of saying, no, I can't think of anyone that I look up to, I would just, uh, in, instead of being awkward, I would just say this um, this cricket player. And um, 
uh, I liked him, but uh, it wasn't like I looked up to him. So, yeah, that happens uh, with teachers. Uh, I actually, there is someone I look up to uh, for what she's doing. She's a teacher, but she also creates a lot of uh, content, books and videos. And and uh, and she does a lot of interesting things with websites. And um, um, maybe, uh, like, I, I really appreciate her because she was one of the first, like, teachers that started creating online content and i might just have her i'm going to ask her if she can join me on a live stream soon and uh yeah i think um that that might be exciting too uh gabriella hi from peru uh, martin from elt martin how are you doing good to see you in a weekly live stream i'm creating a grammar series for english teachers martin that's exactly what i said uh martin asked me a long time ago he said eric because Martin also makes um, videos for teachers. And he said, Eric, um, oh, um, yeah, do you have any, I, I don't know, Martin, how you uh, how you phrased it, but basically my advice was, uh, and Martin asked, oh, uh, what can I work on? And I said, um, I think a lot of teachers uh, need help with grammar. And um, so that's actually something I'm going to be working on next year too. I'm going to copy all your ideas, Martin. Uh, I won't. I promise I won't. But I think it's, uh, you know, the more content there is out there, the more it can help teachers. So, and also it's going to improve myself too. That's something I look forward to. Um, yeah. So Martin, get that done. And guys, go and check it out. Uh, when Martin, uh, I'll, I'll share some of it when he releases it. Uh, Mona, I'm well, thank you. Ro Rose, hi from Jordan. Uh, uh, can you tell me how to speak? Uh, I think uh, I just said answered that for another viewer. Ali, uh, I teach a uh, marital English from Algeria. Very interesting. Uh, Zakaria, hello from Algeria. This year will be the first year as a high school teacher. So the question is, do you think that I should build personal relations with the students or just be a teacher? Uh, yes to both. But, um, you know, one of the problems I've seen with especially high school students, because, you know, they're smarter and they, they, they've, they've got different lives than, than the younger learners. You don't want to get too close to them. You want to stay professional. So be friendly with the students. But um, I think there, 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 should be, there should be clear boundaries. Like you don't want to try and be their friend because, you know, they're going to use that to try and manipulate you. Not all of them. But it's safer if you keep those boundaries between you. So be friendly, but um, please don't get too close to your students. Um, that, that, that can be dangerous. Uh, not dangerous, but, uh, uh, you know, it's it's better not to. It's it's safer. Um, Ahmad, uh, what time do you live uh, every day? Every Sunday at 10 p.m. Well, 10 p.m. my time, but 1 p.m. GMT. We do this. Jackie, how do I find an article? Dr. Fall Potty, Dr. Fall. I'm going to be a grand grandma. Uh, 2023. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to be a grandma. Okay, Dr. Fall. Uh, oh, oh, uh, th that wasn't Dr. Uh, which doctor was I talking about? Doctor. Um, oh, now I forgot. I, I see his face so clearly. Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil. He he's um. Uh, he's that American uh, TV show host, um, Dr. Phil. And <laughs> Dr. Fall. Oh, my pronunciation so bad. Uh, Ahmad from Kurdistan. Najma, SWOT analysis is a good activity uh, for students to do in class. Yes, I know what you're talking about. Let me just get it. SWOT activity just so that I'm, I'm, uh, I've got it. SWOT team, uh, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Yeah, uh, this is a very good activity. Um, I think it can be used in uh, not only in English. It can be used. I remember I, I used it a, a long, long time ago. I taught um, science uh, for young learners, and I think this was really useful. Okay, so strengths, uh, so SWOT, uh, write down, um, so, you know, you you write, write down your strengths, what do you think you can do well, or what is good about something, weaknesses, what is something that you can improve, opportunities, you know, where can you capitalize on something, or, or be more successful, and threats, you know, with those weaknesses, uh, what obstacles do you have to overcome? Now, this is a good way for students to also learn critical thinking. I really like that idea. Maybe I should make a video about SWOT. Uh, I'll see if there's one out there. But yeah, I think it's a fun activity. Any activity that you can really challenge the students to 
to try and think in a different way and to be more open to critical thinking. Uh, Ali, I teach Mar uh, got it. Uh, Rania, thank you. Kev, fluency, shadowing, and reading aloud. Thank you, Kev. It's good to see you. Um, yeah, shadowing, very important shadow. Uh, I, I said, you know, you, you find a role model, shadow them, uh, and uh, yeah, just uh, try and read it the same, uh, try, uh, you know, listen to phrases they use and try and uh, improve your pronunciation to be the same. And then reading aloud helps too. Yeah, I think reading is so underrated, or maybe it's rated enough, but not enough people do it. And I put myself underneath that group that that don't read enough, you know. I was in the train yesterday and, you know, I'm in the train and you can look outside or I play on my phone, but I just realized I'm in front of screens all the time. Now, what I would used to do is I would have an hour or two where I went to the gym or I suggest you take a walk or I just saw someone talking about this now. They said after 8.30 or 9 o'clock, no more screens, no more TVs, computers or phones. Um, you don't have to go to sleep, but you should do. You shouldn't be in front of a screen, and that's something that I want to do. But with my lifestyle right now, it's just I, I, I use my computer for way too long. Um, a book on education. Um, there's nothing I can suggest right now. Like I try and read a lot of books about it, but um, there are a few that I think are useful. But I haven't found something that I think, man, this is everything I need. Uh, Lena, it's fluency. Rose, does anyone have an issue with the internet connection? Um, I, I hope it's okay. I hope mine's fine. Um, Shafiq, Eric, greetings from Malaysia. Your channel has been very helpful. Thank you. Looking forward to more tips. Thank you very much. Good. I'll try. Uh, yeah, guys. Um, so I'll, I'll be sharing a lot more activities. And um, I've, I'm going to share two videos a week from now on. And what else? Hmm. But I've got a lot of videos I still need to share and make. Oh, it, it feels like the work is just piling on and I'm, I just need to stay ahead. But thank you so much for the support. Uh, Kim Lee, hi from Cambodia. Ayman from the UAE. Um, that's me, Valencia from Peru. Hola. Uh, Eric, how are you doing? Any advice for teaching adults one-on-one -on -one to improve more listening in English? Thanks. Appreciate your advice. Ah, yeah, actually, I... I I still need to make a video on how to teach one-on-one -on -one classes or tutoring. Um, I shared some advice before. Now, uh, especially for listening, I think what uh, th the great thing about listening is you can give them homework too. So you can kind of challenge them. You can, uh, let's say uh, during class, they want to listen to you or you can play something to them. And you can ask them questions. You can also ask them to dictate. Tell them you're going to tell them a story. And they have to listen for a specific um, information. And then with the specific information, they make notes. And then they've got to retell the story to them. And you can practice some easy things like first you tell them about your weekend or your Sunday. And then you can go into, you can read a story to them and they can write it down and they can practice it. And then you can also give them homework. You say, okay, well, I want you to go home and I want you to start listening. Um, um, you know, watch a, watch a show without subtitles. And I want you to write down um, some of the new words that you heard, you know, or try it, watch a story. And then I want you to come back to class and retell it to me. So that way they are trying, they are learning to listen to specific information and retelling it too. When it comes to learning English, you want to incorporate um, not just one skill at a time, but uh, perhaps two skills at a time. So if you're um, training, if if you're teaching listening, maybe you can you you know you can give them some reading before you can. You can tell them to speak after. You can get them to write. So you want to incorporate these different skills and use them together. From the DRC, my brother worked in the DRC for a bit. Thank you, Martin. The Cambridge Teaching Certificate for those that are teaching young learners. Uh, the Tyle course. Oh, very interesting, Martin. I'll check it out. Hassan, please answer me. Uh, I think I did. Um, Trinity Young Learners Extension Certificate. Okay, I'll def uh, Martin, we should talk about that. I'd, I'd definitely like to learn some more, but I'm so busy uh, procrastinating, not doing enough work. Like today was a beautiful day. It was cool. The, uh, the sun was shining. 
But uh, yeah, I, I didn't have much I could do. My plan was to go to a study cafe and, and write some scripts. And so I walked out, um, basically wasted the day just sitting in, a, in an office trying to write scripts. And then even then, I was like, you know, going on YouTube or, um, you know, just playing something. Um, so I think I need to be stricter with myself, start um, applying some of the, the practical uh, tips um, to stop procrastinating and get work done. What, what is that? The 20-minute the activity where you, for 20 minutes, you just focus. I'll do things like that just to get my mind in order. I prefer spring and fall. Summer is way too hot for me and causes health problems. Oh, okay. Whale English TV. Uh, hi, say hello. Hassan, time. Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah. Um, hi, Tesh. Love from India. Hi. Uh, Marimag. Hola, Eric. Just found your channel recently. I'm an ESL and Spanish teacher in the US. And wow, been teaching for 13 years. That's so interesting. Marimag, uh, I've got so, it's, it's so interesting because I found many uh, teachers in the US, English teachers that also teach Spanish. Wow. It's, it seems to be a common theme, but I'm very impressed. Oh, Hassan, that was unnecessary. I just blocked you now. Such bad words. Um, and then Imran, ah, hi. Um, and teach you. <laughs> BM, yeah, maybe. Maybe I'll learn some Arabic. Uh, uh, Marta, nice to see you again. Hello to your father and the regulars too. Thank you so much, Marta. You're so kind. Uh, welcome to you. Body Esther, you're here finally. Okay, so uh, Bonnie Esther, do you mind if I quickly play those videos? Uh, I'm gonna play them anyway. K -k 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 -k. In Korea, they say k -k -k, um, uh, as as a laugh. Uh, in I know in other places like ya 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 and so, something like that. Okay, so this is something Bonnie Esther sent to me. She didn't know I was going to play it, um, but it's her impersonation of me. So uh, let me quickly go in. Okay, I'm going to go back. Okay, so this is Bonnie Esther doing an impersonation of me. Try and see if it's that good, or if, if, if you can see it. Impression of Eric. Hello, Luzon, it's so lovely to see you. <laughs> I'll do it one more time. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, let's do it uh, uh, yeah, this way. Short impression of Eric. Hello, Luzon, it's so lovely to see you. Okay, that's the first one. What do you guys think? I think that's spot on. Okay, and then the second one. I'm 10 minutes behind. Anyway. Oh, Mr. Mario, it's so good to see you. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's so good, Bonnie Esther. You've really got a talent for it. And by the way, Bonnie Esther has a beautiful voice too. I know that she... Um, She's got a TikTok where she sometimes puts things out and a YouTube too. Very talented. Um, I, I think it's fantastic. One more time. Oh, so sorry, guys. I see that I'm 10 minutes behind. Anyway. <laughs> oh, Mr. Mario, it's so good to see you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Perfect. That is so good. Uh, what do you guys think about that? Uh, I like that. Uh, okay. Uh, where were we? Arun. Hi. Welcome. Um, oh, too late, uh, Hassan. Uh, Shifam, hi from India. Greetings from Spain, Azar. Hi from Morocco. Abdul Aziz, hi, thank you so much. Mudu, well done. Uh, Maung from Myanmar, like I said, I was so surprised. I think Myanmar is the, the number six most subscribers from any country. Uh, Martin says, Bonnie says, yeah, Eric has that video. <laughs> Christina from Lisboa, hi. Edgar, uh, hello, sir, could you please have uh, some fun? Okay, I did. Kinesthetic activities. Now, um, I did a video on TPR. Most of the, men, in many of the, the class, in many of the... Um, this is a video I did on TPR, Total Physical Response, and it's got a lot of like activities that you can, that the students can move around with. I think this is what you're looking for. Uh, let me quickly post this. Um, what I'm working on now, so I'm, I'm working on that demo video, um, video that I'm working on. Um, and then also I found this interesting one. I was, I'm, I'm doing one on 
uh, the queen. And it, it was actually really fun. So this is queen for a day. One of the students, if you've got a crown, the student puts a crown on. And then the other students have to try and become the leader or the queen. They, they basically pick up a cell phone and say, what, your majesty, what letter does this start with? And then the queen has to say, it starts with the letter C. And then they sit down and each student should try and, uh, well, try and get the queen to make a mistake. And then they take their place. Okay, so they switch out. That's really fun. I think that's like a fun, simple idea for an activity. You get one leader, they sit in the front of class. And then the other students, how do you spell, you know, with all the students, they can do different questions. But how do you spell photograph you know so and then they say they've got to spell it or something like that um where do you see yourself in five years time very good question well obviously i need to start a family by then i'm getting very old so that's that's a priority so starting a family maybe with a few uh, one or two younger kids um i'm not sure if i'll be in korea it's a possibility that i'll still be in korea um by then i would have liked to make a lot of videos write some more books um i'd like to be teaching more helping more teachers um if <laughs> i i hope i don't burn out by then um but yeah i'd like to um perhaps work at a university helping language teachers uh, hopefully i'm better by then uh, um, I think in five years, maybe not five years, maybe in seven years, uh, I'd like to start with my doctorate. Um, I'd like to do some more. Um, uh, I'd like to get uh, some more trainings, do some more, get some more certification. Yeah, so um, a lot of things personally that I would like to do. Um, I think, yeah, so I've got personally and then I've also got with uh, my profession that I want to improve with. So, yeah, um, a lot of things that I would like to do in five years. Thank you for asking, Inkart. Uh My ESL classes were combined. K1 and um, have to reinvent myself teaching combined grade levels and proficiency levels. Not my favorite way to teach. Planning is challenging. Ideas. Okay. Uh, Mary Mag. Um, Okay, so you've got mixed level classes, mixed level grades, which which is a lot of planning that you have to do. Um, I, I don't know what your curriculum is and if it's set, but I would say make it easier for yourself and uh, plan around the same themes with your students or, um, you know, the same type of activities that you can do with them and perhaps just change it a little bit. That way, you're not. it's not totally different and you don't get too stressed out doing it. Um, yeah, so I think that's that's the most important. Simplify, simplify, simplify. Um, it's it's the same classes, so yeah, just uh, focus on the same um, you know topic or, or or theme and have similar activities so that you don't um, have to do too much. Arturo, hi. Sorry, I'm going to just take a sip of water. Ah, there we go. Five minutes of silence without me talking. It's interesting with my videos. Sometimes I try and use music, but um, because in most of my videos, it's me nonstop uh, talking nonstop. It's not necessary to put any music in there. But yeah, I've got a couple of fun videos coming out, a lot of activity videos. Um, and uh, the last one I put out, a, a lot of teachers enjoyed. So uh, I'm starting to see, understand what type of videos I should make. Uh, he's here. Hello, Amar. I want to speak English, practice more, find friends. I think it's important. Alicia from Bar uh, um Mrs. Abuela, what are you? Are you uh, in Barbados? Are you uh, teaching? Uh, are you visiting family? Are you staying there now? Are you originally from Barbados? Very curious. Uh, and Mrs. Abuela, long time no see. I hope you're doing well. I love the shot with you and your grand grandson, not granddaughter. Uh, Arturo, uh, Yen, yeah, we're starting class tomorrow. Me too. Arturo, how are you doing? I'm excited. I'm a bit nervous because, so um, yeah, the classes have to fill up and I'm a bit worried about some classes if I've got enough students. Some classes I've got way too many and some but uh, I'm a bit worried about my classes, so I need to get that sorted this week. Sam Nang, hello from Cambodia. Keith, hi. Uh, two from Cambodia. You guys are following each other. Uh, which job? If you were not a teacher, what job would you do, BM? Um, yeah, it's a difficult one. I think, hmm, 
Would I go into the corporate world? I have no idea. I can't imagine. Um, no, it's. It, I'll definitely want to be working with people. Um, yeah, I, I, I can't imagine. I'll have to think about that. Good question, though. Good evening. Hi, from Iraq. My question is, uh, when I teach adults, but children are more receptive to information. In this case, what are the means to help me get attention? Well, actually, I did two videos on teaching adults. I did two videos on teaching adults. Um, which one should I give you? There's one about 10 activities, and then there's one how to teach adults. I'm going to give you how to teach adults. I know I still need to do a video on how to teach younger learners, and I still need to do a video on phonics and one-on-one. -on -one. Ah, so many videos to make, so little time. But this is uh, how to teach adults. Uh, I hope that helps. Check that one out. Uh, Jody, I have a student who continues to disrupt my class. His father is one of the pastors at our school. Yeah. Um, hmm. This is definitely, uh, I've seen it happen before. Um, I've had students whose, whose parents were, well, not teachers, they're usually very good, but also pastors or, um, you know, um, uh, important businessmen. Um, and um, they are very disruptive. It's, it's a way of rebelling. Now, I, I, I think, so you, you don't want to plead with the students. Uh, but um, you want to make it clear to the student that there are rules in your class and there are expectations of them. So uh, with these students that misbehave, you know, I, I don't think you want to go to his... S some teachers go the route of going to the child's father and saying, oh, your child's doing this, 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 this. Um, and the child gets a little bit nervous about their dad finding out, but it's also their way to rebel for some reason. Now, you're going to have your rules in class and you're going to want to have some one-on-ones with the student um, explaining to them this isn't on. Um, there are rules in class. Um, you don't want to try, you don't want to make it a you versus them thing because that is also what they want. They want attention. They want you to, to get upset and they want to control the class. They want that attention. So perhaps they don't get the attention at home. Um, but there's something going on where they want the attention. And even if it's negative attention, they crave that. So you don't want to give that to them. Uh, so in in, in the sixth grade, so yeah, what about 14? I'm guessing 13, 14. Yeah, um, uh, you're going to make clear in the class what your rules are. And then you, you I think you should have like um, perhaps for, for, for then, try and have weekly sessions with the student where... If they are disruptive, let them come and see you for five or 10 minutes. Um, you know, make it a weekly thing. I know it's five or 10 minutes. You're a busy teacher and it's difficult. But I think you're going to make a difference in that child's life. If, if they act out or anything, you say, listen, um, if you act out and you're too disruptive in class, um, I think you and I need some more time together, you know, so that you can get to know me and I can get to know you. So if uh, I'm going to give you three warnings in class, you know, I'm going to make a strike. And if you act out too much, um, if, if I have to warn you three times, then that's it. Strike three. I want you to come and sit for five minutes and come and talk to me. So um, first do it. Um, first do it the first time where you take them, uh, ask them to stay after class or come and see you after school or during break time. Um, and then have like a five to 10 minute conversation with them, ask them questions, get to know them, but let them understand that you don't want that in your class. And um, that's not going to happen. There are rules and then warn them like that. I think that's like an idea you can try out. Um, I wouldn't do it for every single student that um, that acts out. This is for special cases. Uh, I hope you guys understand that. Not for every student, but I, I think in this case, it's someone uh, difficult like that. Um, any ways to improve your pronunciation? Yes. Um, I think uh, Kev said it before, shadowing, copying other teachers. Uh, uh, find someone that you can model yourself with. Read out loud. And also, you know, find native speakers that you can copy. Um, and if you can find a teacher that can correct your uh, pronunciation, that works even better. Thank you so much. Uh, really like your tips. We've got 10 minutes left. Um, I want to learn English, but I forget. Uh, continue. 
repetition equals retention. So what it means is the more you do it, the more you will remember. Uh, opinions about boundaries. My fellow teachers find it difficult to make his student listen because the student see him as a friend. There's no sense of authority in his class. 100%. Um, yeah, I think a lot of teachers go in and they think, you know, I'm going to be nice to the students, <clears throat> overly friendly, and they can be misled. You know, it's it it happens. It's it's a it's a common trend in teach. It's not a common trend. It's it's something that happens in teaching where a young teacher comes in and they try and be overly friendly and then that can backfire. It works maybe in the short run, but in the long run, um, yeah, it doesn't work. They lose, you know, they don't have authority anymore. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, um, it's, it's, it's strange with the ring. It's like a, it's like a good feeling you get, you know, you're like, Oh, they like me. So, uh, and, oh, I'm trying to be nice to them and they're nice to you and they, they appreciate it and they smile at you and, you know, you feel good. But then you're going to get that moment where you realize um, they're going to lose respect for you and they don't have authority for you, right? So that's very important. I agree. Uh, hi, from India. Uh, so then the class has already become too chaotic. Decide to be stern with the students. They won't listen. Right. Uh, Muhammad. Uh, hi, facing flood. Yeah, definitely. I hope the country is doing well and um, uh, pray for the people in Pakistan. Um, Mr. Mario, hola, how are you doing? <clears throat> Withering, having a good relationship as a teacher is good, but clear boundaries. 100%. Yeah, be friendly, but have those boundaries. Najma, can you share any body language tips for teachers? Well, Actually, I've got a video about. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just giving you guys links to the videos, but you know, um, I, I want to go through all the, the the tips and talk about it. So, if I've made a video, this is actually one of the very first videos I made. I made this three and a half years ago. Three and a half years ago. Wow. I've all, almost been on YouTube for four years, three and a half years. This is probably, I think, the fourth video I made, and it's still relevant. I just, <laughs> it's, it's so bad, though. If you see how I act on camera now, and you see my editing, and you see this video, the, the maybe the third or fourth or fifth video I made, it's so bad. I'll have to make a new video for it in the future. But you know, the way I think about things... <clears throat> I want to make a video about every topic. Once I've covered every single topic I want to make, then I want to go back and redo some of these popular videos or, or videos that I did in the past that are still popular, redo them, revamp them, you know, improve them. And then, well, and then I'll make some more ones. Forget the beautiful day. Get back to work. Thank you, James. See? That's the kind of encouragement I need, the motivation. Forget the beautiful day, get back to work. <laughs> Martin, what is the difference between listening for specific information and listening for details? It's not the same. Ah, specific. <laughs> I, what is the difference between specific information and details? Okay, I think specific is not the same thing. No, there's probably some small difference between them. I don't know. I can't think about it right right now. I bet you if I did some research and I looked it up, can anyone help Martin? I'll think about it. Um, but oh, I can't. Thank you. The Pomodoro method in Kari. I'll do that. Uh, I have almost no time for anything. Yeah, Mario, we're too busy. The countdown for the class to start talking is working. USA, our teacher. I'm so happy. Oh, Mario, we need more. <laughs> <laughs> no, one here just said no. Too late. Uh, this is like 20 minutes later. Uh, Murray Mag, I'm a native now. And Spanish speaker, learned most of my English from my dad. Excellent, Murray Mag. I'm so impressed. And um, you must be very grateful to your dad. And <laughs> one here just said, I don't mind. Tazia, hello. Would you like to mind sharing your first teaching day? Hmm. Should I? Um, maybe I will. Um, my first class um, is with some advanced students, which I'm excited for. Maybe I should, you know, um, I was think I was actually thinking of making a video maybe during the week when I'm more relaxed and it's, it's better, but I can actually do it my first day. Um, I, I did this before. I did a, I actually did an online interview and I also shot my 
uh, I, I shot a, a demo lesson uh, while I was giving it. So I was so stressed out and I did it. So just to show that, you know, you add another layer to it. You know, you're you're doing this thing that's kind of scary, but you still take a video. So maybe I will. That might be interesting. Tazia, I'll see how I feel. Uh, I'll take my uh, phone along and my, my tripod and I might just do that. Uh, who is she? Oh, that is Bonnie Esther, one of our favorite teachers on the channel. Uh, need help with students or continuous disruption. Okay, uh, I think I gave some ideas there. Mario said, Bonnie Esther, you remember me. Of course, we have to remember you, Mario. Um, what does it mean, an impression of you? Is what someone thinks about you, um, a BM. So uh, what is your first impression of someone? What is your first feeling or idea that you've got of someone? Yeah, I think that's a really nice thing. Impression of someone. Very good. From Haiti. Hi. Uh, what do you call the thing done by Bonnie Esther? Oh, oh yeah. Uh, oh, so not impression of you. Uh, so not a, an impression of you. An impression in this meaning can also be you You kind of like acting like that person. So you, you, you are doing an impression of someone. So, you know, you, you can do an impression of a celebrity or uh, you can do an impression of a friend. There's some common things that they do. Uh, you know, we do a lot of things that we 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 are not even sure other people see, which is really funny. Oh, thank you, Jody. Oh, I already answered it a bit earlier. Uh, can you do some video phonetics? Maybe I will. Uh, I think a phonetics video will actually be easy, but I think there are a lot of videos about phonetics out there already. But I'll see. Um, hi from Indonesia. Uh, Apa kabar? I think I said that, right? Um, no. Which one is? Ah, okay. Turkey. Uh, my finger is okay. Thank you. Laura from Canada. I was an EFL teacher in Lebanon. Best profession. Now I'm an English educator in French daycare. Laura, very interesting. You've moved around. Very interesting. Um, I think you must have a lot of stories to tell. Uh Dain, hi, best mixed class with high and low achievers. This will be my final video that I'll share. I've I've made a video about mixed level classes, uh, and I'm going to share this one. It's uh, also one I made. So some of these videos, I get the question so much in um, in the live stream. So I just share it. I think I need to make a list of popular videos that I can share. But this one is uh, how to teach mixed level students. Uh, thanks for that. Why? Sorry to write. <laughs> um, uh, Dr. Mom on the shelf behind. Dr. Mom? Hmm. Not sure. Uh, the hug one I was teaching had closed. Now I'm trying to decide whether I should teach at one again. Any advice? I'm currently teaching. Um, James, yeah. it's. Uh, I think find out what has the best hours for you uh, and uh, the area you want to teach at. You know, um, uh, I, I think if you can find a hug one that is really good, that suits you, go for it. Um, it it's kind of tough getting those uh, business jobs, but if you can get those, whatever you feel like. Um, so, yeah, um, it depends on what you want to do. Um, if you can find a good one, go for it. Super. Hello, tomorrow's my second teaching in a community. How can I get um, engaging environment? Uh, get them to talk. Make the lessons about them. And also, um, so you model the activities first. You can make it easy for them. Give them some questions they can practice with the partner first and then ask them out loud. You want to make it easier for them. Please, it doesn't work. Uh, hello, how to special students. Oh, I need to do one on special students. SR, nice to see you. Face-to-face uh, -face lesson. Um, say, uh, I don't think so. I'm a bit busy at the moment. Um, got so much to do. Read, can you tell me? Uh, yeah, I need to do that for you later. Okay, uh, everyone, we're getting to the end. We've got a minute left. I'm just quickly go through these. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, yeah, I need to do one teaching assistant. I need to do one about relationships between teachers and also between parents, people have asked. <sighs> So much work. Everyone, um, yeah, I just want to say thank you so much for the kind support. Um, yeah, I'm doing my best trying to put out content there, and uh, I hope it's useful. Uh, good luck with your classes. I'm starting my first classes tomorrow, and I wish you all a good week and uh, peace and happiness. I'm Eric from Etiquette, and I'll see you guys.